Hello Bobcats and Toros, this is Miss Gonzalez and today we're going to be reading May Day Mouse by Seb Braun. One bright sunny day, Captain Mouse built a little boat out of a walnut shell, a toothpick, and a handkerchief. It's my brother's birthday, she told her friends. I'll take his present by boat. Bon voyage, they all shouted. Watch out for the big waves and watery perils. If you need any help, just shout Mayday! So it looks like Captain Mouse is on a journey to take her brother his birthday gift. The sun shun. What a lovely day for sailing. There won't be any big waves or watery perils today. So it looks like her adventure is starting off to a calm way. The water seems nice. Everything is flowing. Let's keep reading. But then the breeze dropped. The little boat stopped. Never mind, thought Captain Mouse, I'll just whistle up a wind. And she whistled a sea shanty three times. The wind picked up again. That's better, smiled Captain Mouse. So it looks like her whistling helped her start the wind for her sail. The wind became stronger. We sang Captain Mouse. This is fun. The little boat bobbed up and down and raced along. I'll be there in no time, said Captain Mouse. So it looks like Captain Mouse is riding the waves and letting the ocean take her across her journey. Everything is smooth sailing. Then it started to rain and the boat filled with water. Captain Mouse held on tight to the mast and her brother's present. What's happened to my sail? Oh no, what happened to Captain Mouse's sail? Yeah, it came undone in the wind. That's not a good thing. It's not gonna help her catch the wind. <gasps> Thunder roared and lightning flashed across the sky. Oh no, thought Captain Mouse. Here come the big waves and the watery perils. Oh no, it looks like she's going to have to hang on tight. The little boat flew through the air. What's the crashing noise I can hear? Thought Captain Mouse. It's getting closer. What can it be? Oh no, so it looks like she's hanging on to her ship. I'm going to make sure she doesn't fall out. It's a dark and dangerous cave, she squealed. I'd better stay clear of it. So it looks like Captain Mouse is holding on to the gift and it looks like she's going to go into something scary. But no sooner was she past the cave than Captain Mouse saw that she was heading straight for some terrible rocks. Oh no. She hit them with a the horrible crash. Boom. Captain Mouse, her brother's present, her little walnut shell boat, her toothpick mask and her handkerchief were all thrown into the air. Oh no, so she crashed into the, into the rocks and everything came flying out. This is the end of me, she thought. Oh no. Captain Mouse was soaked through. She was cold and tired. She fell fast asleep. The water rose and the island became smaller and smaller. Oh no, so she crashed and then she fell asleep because she was tired and cold and the water is rising. Captain Mouse woke up and shook the water from her fur. That's better, she thought. The rain had stopped. The sea is calm again. What I need is a plan. So it looks like Captain Mouse woke up and now she's trying to see what she's going to do next. Captain Mouse tied her flag to the broken mast. She shouted at the top of her voice, Mayday! Mayday! Help! Help! Finally, she heard a buzzing and a splash. We heard you shouting, called Dragonfly and Frog. Then we saw your flag. Look, look at what we've brought you, they cried. Half a cork to make a boat, a coin for a keel, a toothpick for a mast, and a leaf for a sail. So it looks like Dragonfly and Frog, they brought her materials. They came to her rescue. Captain Mouse set to work. She pushed the mast into the cork 
She fixed the leaf into the mast. Hurrah, she laughed. I am ready to sail again. So what did Captain Mouse do? Yes, Captain Mouse created a plan and then she started to construct her new boat. The breeze filled the sail and the little cork bobbed over the waves. Farewell call, dragonfly and frog. Be careful, we're here if you need us. The sun shone, the gentle breeze blew the little boat along, and this time there were no big waves or watery perils. So it looks like Captain Mouse is ready for her second journey. I hope she makes it across to deliver her brother's present on time. Captain Mouse jumped ashore, happy to see her brother at last. I've had such a scary adventure. There were big waves and watery perils like rain in caves and terrible rocks and even a shipwreck and even a desert island. Wow, all this way to bring me a present. Can you sing me happy birthday too? So it looks like Captain Mouse was finally able to get to shore and deliver the present to her brother. So everyone did. Oh, do we see? Do you see the cave? It's an empty can of soup. Oh, and do you see? You see the rocks? That's where she crashed. So it really wasn't that big. Who thought it was an ocean? I thought it was an ocean. All right, Bobcats and Toros, that was the end of our read aloud. I'm so glad I got to read Mayday Mouse with you all. I know I had a good time reading about Captain Mouse's journey. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was definitely when Captain Mouse created her second plan for her boat. She did not give up. She called on her friends to help her and she succeeded with delivering the present. All right, Bobcats and Toros, until next time.